Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my blog. All right. Okay, so uh, in continuation of my little mini series of my series that I have written. I think I am going to focus sort of on the, the series rather than doing any individual books at this sort of stage. Um, we are going to be talking about my current series that I am working on, which is Amhart. Um, technically speaking, it is all just one big long book at the moment, um, but a lot of my series have started off as one big long book. Um, Bird Fudge of Marriage, for example, that's the original thing, it's just one big long book and then I sort of split it up into little books um, or parts within the, the bigger thing which will be divided up into books <laughs> once I get around to sorting it. Uh, I think that's very much what's going to end up happening with, with Amhide. It's at least long enough at this point to be more than one book, it's certainly more than one part within its overall document. Um, so yeah. <laughs> And the other reason I'm, I'm pretty sure that Amhart is going to end up as a series is because it was based on a series that I started writing when I was a teenager. Um, and I sort of had sort of had the second book, or is it the first book? One of the one of the two books I sort of started writing for it. Um, I sort of still have. Uh, the other one I think got lost on one of my parents sold computers so yeah that's how long ago it was I didn't even have my own computer at the time that I, I was sort of writing it um but I did have a lot of the background notes and, and various other bits and pieces of material and I sort of kind of knew what the story was about although what I've done with it compared to what it was is yeah it's a lot better now it's a lot more refined now the characters are a lot deeper now there's you know a lot more romance going on now than there was originally. Um, in terms of, you know, what the original series was about, because it was originally going to be, you know, a two, three book series. Um, I don't know, actually, it could have been shorter or longer than that. At, at the time, I wasn't so much a sequential writer as I am now. <laughs> um, but yeah, well, what it sort of was originally was very much a story about friends um, and the journey that they sort of go on together. Um, don't really remember why they originally went on the journey together. Um, the, the logic and the reasoning behind why they go on their journey together now is, I think, much better than whatever it was I, I originally gave them. Um, and a lot of details about the, the individual characters and their backstories have sort of been changed and altered. Um, Certainly, um, when it comes to characters like like Blast, um, who was originally all fairy, because oh, it, it's set in one of my realities where there are enchanted fruits. So it's um, very, it's either the same reality, like the historical part of the same reality that Echo is set in, or it's a neighbouring reality uh, to one that Echo is set in. I'm not really sure how many realities have the enchanted breeds as their sort of main overarching uh a breed of humans um but yeah in, in terms of you know blast very much started off as uh, one of the female characters blast very much started off as being all fairy um and then is now part pixie <laughs> uh, and various other little details like that like um i think bo's father always died um i, I would have to check the notes to to sort of remind myself about that but it certainly has a bigger impact on her in this version and, and everything that, there are definitely certain things that I did um, after that point, which definitely did not happen in the original version because I'm a much darker writer now than I was back then. <laughs> Hard as that is to believe. <laughs> She's probably very easy to believe. Um, and then certain elements which were originally like in the second book sort of, became part of like the, the initial story and us and yeah their their motives for doing what they do and, and why they go on this journey and where they go on this journey is a lot better and a lot cleaner and a lot more defined now than it was before where 
it's still very much a book focused on this 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 group um, and and the, these friends. But in terms of why they're doing what they're doing and their motivations and their personalities and their character characterization and, and all this sort of lovely stuff like that, yeah, things things have changed and, and improved. And uh, I'm hoping is a lot better <laughs> than you know what I initially had uh, as, a, as a young teenager sort of just wanting to write a story out of an adventure um, with a group of friends um, so uh, why is it called Amhar? Um, there was a reason in the original version why the stories were called Amhar and that reasoning has not crept into um, the new version of it so I'm not sure if it will remain being called Amhart or if I will opt for a different title later on. Um, but the initial reasoning was that um, two of the three of the characters who were all pixie raised, um, two of them not actually being pixies, but often two been raised by a pixie. Um, so then the term Amhart just basically describes what they are, which is a group of friends. Um, but that has not come up at all in the new version of it. You don't get that sort of pixie-centric language um, in this version like you sort of got in the original version for, for one reason or another. The, the, they do still talk in a slightly different way. So my fairy characters tend to talk slightly differently to my pixie characters. And, and you can sort of see from, from the, the dialogue ways um, that they have slightly different cultures going on. Um, but you don't get like all the pixie words or all the different enchanted boob words like like you got in the, the original version. Um, so I don't know if it's going to remain being called Amhart. I'm just calling it Amhart right now because I don't know what else to call it. Um, just like I don't know. Well, as I said, I'm pretty sure it's going to end up being a series. <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm pretty sure like the different the different books in the series are going to have like their own little subtitles. So like whatever the, the series is going to end up being called um will be sort of like yeah and then it'll be like book one and then the subtitle which i don't usually do but actually the idea of them being called books within like their naming convention that kind of appeals to me in this particular series just because of the, the feel of it and i'm at the moment in sort of a stage where there's lots of interpersonal stuff going on and, and it's not boring but I'm just, just trying to work out how I can sort of get the plot going forward again. Um, I mean things are happening, you're, you're learning stuff all the time and, and things are going on in the background and it's sort of ticking along but I kind of want it to go a little bit faster because I know there's an epic climax and I just kind of don't know how to quite get there yet so yeah it, it's it's one of those series that I, I'm definitely definitely still want to get to the end of it um somehow and and get past this sort of looping uh sort of situation that I'm going on through at the moment but not 100 percent sure how <laughs> but part of the fun of, of writing is, is working out how you get there and, and working out how you how you sort of how you sort of do that. Um so yeah it, it's it's interesting it could be a lot of fun. Um and as I said, in in terms of you know, as as a project, as as a whole, um, this is not the first time that I've gone back to an, an old project and basically started from the ground up, um, or essentially started from the ground up. In fact, I think this is the first time I've gone back to a project and 100% started from the ground up. Um, apart from like various notes that I had, and even then, I've, I've altered those notes to, <laughs> to fit my current version of the characters. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, this is the first time where I've, I've sort of very much started it again and, and kind of scratched everything that was before because I'd lost the original story, so I'd lost what, what was originally there before, and I only really had the notes to work from in some of the second story. Um, so this is the first time I've, I've gone back to an old project and it's just been like completely from the ground up, but it's not the first time that I've gone to an old project and started it again, um, which brings me rather nicely on to referencing next week's topic, 
um, which is the three-part series that still really doesn't have a name. <laughs> I keep meaning to give it a name, but it doesn't. There, I've got two series that don't really have series names to them. Um, but I'm going to refer to to this one. I think at this point as being the Monty Trio. Um, and yeah, next week's next week's uh, continuation of this little mini series will be on the Monty Trio, <laughs> um, and which as I've already said is one of the other projects which I kind of gone back to and started again. But there's that's that's where I'll leave that because there's a lot more that I can say about that. There's definitely a lot more I can say about that. <laughs> Um, anyway, so I hope you found this one sort of interesting. I hope you're looking forward to finding out a little bit more about the Mansi Trio, Mansi Trio next week, um, next time, and I will see you then. See ya! <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others, and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!